Every April, amazing feats of remote-controlled coordination and precision play out in a fierce competition. This is the annual first championship where some of the most inventive and motivated young people you'll ever meet come together from all over the world for a chance to showcase their creativity and gracious professionalism. But it is possible only because organizations like yours encourage employees to become first mentors. Mentors like Eric Jeever. I like to kind of try to inspire the future engineers, you know, ones that could be my, my colleagues in the near future. We have several mentors that do um, a lot of different types of tasks, different students who have different interests on the team. Uh, so we, we all have a little part, a um, little stake in the uh, project. Oh, very proud. I mean, Boeing was a key enabler for this team, um, not only in the financial side, which was uh, which was huge for this team, but also on the you know uh, in being enthusiastic about about us being interested in robotics. They taught me what it really meant, what an engineer actually does on a day-to-day -day basis. They put me in charge of things and I learned responsibilities and learned new skills and it was really just a phenomenal experience. And I ended up getting a full tuition scholarship to Worcester Polytechnic Institute through the FIRST Robotics program. And I mean, it's all due to the Boeing engineers that were my mentors. Lead going back in four years. Uh, it's the future of America. We, we want to have the edge in technology. Uh, Boeing is uh, uh, smartly investing in the young talent, and I, I'm proud of it. Uh, financially, we're short of money to make it to the finals, just because we didn't plan for it. Uh, so I went to our local director at Boeing, and they put up the fund, $5,000, uh, wrote me a check, and here we are. I uh, had tears in my eyes when we uh, made it to the championship. I know I've had an impact on kids' lives. So there's one, one student in particular that she happens, to be, <laughs> she happens to be standing right over here. So she was a student in 2008, recently graduated <laughs> a year ago with a degree in mechanical engineering, got a job at Pratt & Whitney in Connecticut as a systems engineer. Now she's getting married to another first alum and completely changed the direction of her life. She wrote me a letter when she graduated telling me what an impact I had. And so it, that really cemented my, uh, my passion for the organization. And since then, she's not the only person who's told me that I've changed their life. Without this organization, these kinds of transformations wouldn't be possible.